Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we're crowning a champion, a winner. We're determining the best Elijah Craig barrel proof to be released in the last four years. Joshua M. from the Minnesota Whiskey Elite sent me 12 different Elijah Craig barrel proof samples dating back all the way to the beginning of 2017. You know, when life was normal. Those 12 samples were broken down into four different flights consisting of three samples each. They were blind and they were random. The winner of each flight moved on to tonight. And tonight we pick a winner. The four batches that are competing for the title of best Elijah Craig barrel proof ever in the last four years. The four finalists are C919, B517, A120, and C9120. C9120? C920. So it all comes down to this. Me, you, and four delicious glasses of extra barrel strength on cut unfiltered bourbon. Glass A. Glorious. Oh, wonderful. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Creamy strawberry hard candy and cherries. Oh man, so good. The best oaks, the best of oaks. Oh my goodness. Look how much bourbon's in that glass. <laughs> not gonna drink all of that tonight. I might. You never know. Probably will. I would be one heck of a tilt-a-whirl conductor. Just cranking up the speed. <laughs> Don't throw up, kids. <laughs> just going. Sweet vanillas and brown sugars and oak and just wonderfulness. Like a little walnut even. Glass A down the hatch. A. Good heavens. Good grief. That's hot and delicious. Internal temperature is rising. If you stuck me with a meat thermometer right now, I'm pretty sure that my internal temperature would raise it up to pork. Because <sighs> I had the swine flu once. A long time ago. A long time ago. Glass A is ridiculously good. Moving on to glass B. You better be really good, otherwise you're gonna lose. <laughs> That's different. This one's a little bit more purple, like a purple candy, like purple nerds. Like a pixie stick, a purple pixie stick. This one is, this one's a little bit oakier, a little bit, a little bit more woodsy, a little bit more spicy, but also super candy. Like a super spicy, delicious candy. Some black pepper sprinkled friggin' pixie sticks. Glass B down the old his hatch. Bizatch. A little bit thinner, a little bit more astringent than the first glass. Comes in a little bit spikier, a little bit higher pitched, a little bit more tannic. Doesn't coat the mouth quite as well and doesn't finish as well as the first glass either. Glass B is not the winner. That was easy. Moving to glass letter C. Glass C. Nothing is really standing out on this one compared to the first two. You gotta figure, these are the best of the bunch. These are the best of the best. The differences must be pretty small for these four to be in the running for the best one. This one's a little bit darker notes, a little bit darker fruits, a little bit darker fruits. Now the nose is starting to pick up steam. It's starting to pick up steam like a conductor on the railroad tracks in a transcontinental railway system and he's got a poop but there's no bathroom on his train or at least not one that he knows about because it's his first day and no one showed him so guess what full steam ahead right through the town then he slams on his brakes and by the time he stops he's like five miles past town and he pooped his pants should have started stopping earlier but it was his first day. Can't blame him. Friggin' black cherry. Oh yeah. This nose is ridiculous. This nose is pretty unbelievable. There's a party up in here. A party's going on in my mouth. 
whew, bumping and grinding, twerking and working. What the heck? That's phenomenal. Glass C is good. Flavor explosion at the front of the palate. Then it reverberates through the sides of the mouth with an oily shockwave. And it just coats it all the way back. Then it hits the dangly thing on the back of your throat and rings it for a second. Dang hole, my bang hole. Brothers, now listen. I'm expected to get this right, to do a good job. I need to really concentrate here. I can't go off on any tangents like that one time in Chicago where I had to be really serious and then I wasn't. I ended up talking to a stranger on the L for like five hours because he wouldn't stop talking. He just kept talking and talking and talking and I was being a gentleman and I just let him talk. Little did I know, Lake Street, the Lake Street stop, went by 17 times and I just kept listening to him. So no tangents for me. You gotta stay focused. Glass D. <sighs> Son of a mothership. This smells good too. Like really damn good. This one reminds me a lot of Glass C with the darker fruits, the darker stewed fruits and some cinnamon and just the oak not even telling a single joke. Glass D down my throat. Crap. Glass D is really good. The palette on Glass D is like one of those old houses. Have you ever had have you ever, have you ever been into an old house or do you live in a place that's old as it's just old or has bad wiring? It's like you walk you walk up to the light switch on the wall and you flick the switch. Every other house on the planet, just the lights turn on at the speed of light. But that one house, so you hit the light switch and then you wait a second, and then the lights turn on and you're like, that's what, like what this is. You flick the switch and then you're like, huh? And then you're like, oh, there they go, super bright and amazing. These lights are really good and illuminating, and that's what this glass did. It illuminated my palate with great flavors. Is D in the running or not? Is D in the running or not? Man, D is good. Porter has his order. Porter did it. I did it. I did it good. Wow. Those are proofy buggers. In fourth place, in fourth place tonight is glass B. And glass B is Kind of funky. B517, the bronze medal, the third best Elijah Craig barrel proof from the past four years is, son of a bitch, my favorite of the entire competition. C920 came in third place. Whatever. To me, it's whatever. I'm hoping that by continuing this video and not cheating and redoing it and making myself look smart, but instead making myself look stupid, you gain a little bit more respect for me because C920 was my third favorite barrel proof bourbon out of the last four years, but it was my 2020 bourbon of the year. The problem is batch A120 is still in the running, which means A120 beat C920 tonight, which makes me look like a big fat bonehead. The winner of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Challenge and the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in the last four years, according to me tonight, is batch C919. That means batch A120 was the runner up taking the silver medal and C920 took the bronze. What I learned from this experience, from this tournament, is that all Elijah Craig barrel proof batches are great. So they're all worth buying. At retail price, they're amazing. They're the best buy in bourbon. If you can get your hands on a C919, an A120, or a C920, you do it immediately because they're 
above and beyond better than the rest. They're the best three. If you haven't watched the other videos in the series, I will link them right here, right there, starting from the first one. We're about to do a Jim Beam Distillery tournament also, sent from Josh as well. It's like Knob Creeks and Booker's, and it's gonna be epic and delicious and wonderful and nutty, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on tournaments and brackets and winners and odds and seeding and upsets and phenomenal finishes and high fives and letdowns and heartbreak and crying and bankruptcy. Friggin' bankruptcy.